NIRF ranking sucks. It is one of the most misleading rankings ever produced in the history of the world. Somehow every time VIT Valor ends up on top over several of the IITs and several other colleges. But did you realize that in Tamil Nadu itself, there are so many colleges which are better than VIT Valor in terms of their placements, in terms of the peer group, in terms of the, the way students are admitted into these colleges. Hey, Tamil Nadu nalla colleges are gada. Hey, throughout India, Tamil Nadu graduates the highest number of engineers. Ha, solla vela, Chennai has the highest number of SaaS startups throughout the country. And throughout India and throughout the world, the reputation of Tamilians and people who study in these Tamil Nadu colleges, they go far and wide. So, so this list is completely from my own personal opinion after talking to so many people based on their placement experiences, their experiences by interacting with other students and by talking to professors from my coaching institute and this is how this information has been gathered. And if you have any problems with the way the institution has been tracked, do let me know down in the comments so that we can have a discussion. And the college thing. number 7 is my personal favorite because so many of my role models have graduated from this very very college. So at number 10, we have Shastra University guys. Shastra University is one of those amazing universities in Tanjabur. So it is one of those really, really beautiful and upcoming universities because of the heavy central government funding. Central government funding, they are able to make better projects. They are able to have better institutions and they are able to bring in better companies for placements. PayPal, Mindtree. Samsung Research, which did come for the placements in the year 2023. So Chastra is definitely a good bet. Let's say you're not getting into any other good college. Definitely to take a bet on Chastra University. At number nine, we have we have Tyagaraja College of Engineering in Madurai. The colleges in Tamil Nadu, especially something like Tyagaraja. The way admission happens is through the TNEA. TNEA is one of those amazing places where there's no separate entrance examination as such there is no bitsat there is no j means there's no j advanced it is purely based on your board examination score let's say you got 100 in maths and let's say you got 19 physics and 19 chemistry your maths marks will be taken out of 100 and your physics and chemistry marks they will be taken out of 50 and 50 so out of 200 they will rank you and based on your rank they will be allotted a college and different different colleges have different different cutoffs to know more about the cutoffs do check out the link in the description i have provided all the cutoffs over there so do not worry about that there are stellar alumni like nambi narayan who graduated from tyagaraja institute of technology the reputation of tyagaraja is really really high i know many of my friends who work in as scientists in companies and organizations like isro and vsse who graduated, who did their bachelor's in Tyagaraja. And many of the people who do their bachelor's in these kind of institutions, they end up doing a master's as well, because that way their knowledge of core engineering subjects, that increases a lot. At number eight, we have PhD Tech. PhD Tech is the most underrated college in through, throughout India. You know why? Because the billionaire entrepreneur of HCL Technologies, studied in PhD Tech. Yes, PhD Tech was one of those amazing colleges which again takes in students through the TNA process, the process through board exams. So PhD Tech is a really, really great bet to get in. At number seven, we have one of my favorite colleges because it has produced two of the most amazing people in India, APJ Abdul Kalam and K. Shivan. And MIT is a part of the Anna University campuses. Anna University has four different campuses, one in CG, there's SAP, there's ACT, and it's MIT. So as a part of the MIT campus, the placement is almost as similar to the College of Engineering Gindi campus, which is the main campus. So there's nothing to worry about. And there are, there's a strong culture of engineering inside MIT campuses. And many of the people who do their bachelors in MIT, they go and do the masters in something like IIT and other colleges to develop a stronghold within those specific branches that they are in. And many of the people who do take up core branches, let's say like mechanical or something like structural engineering, 
many of them do aspire to get into roles in SRO or PSLV and many of these other great organizations because the culture of that has been set up by the alumni as well. And as far as placements is concerned, MIT has really, really good placements. Companies like Mathworks, companies like companies like D Shaw, companies like Barclays, NatWest, they keep coming over and over again. You will see the list over here. You can take a screenshot of it for further use as well. At number six, we have Amrita Coimbatore. Amrita Coimbatore is one of the really, really well-known institutions throughout India. Even people from North India, they do come to study in a college like Amrita. Because there is one really peculiar fact that I have noticed when I was studying at BITS is because Amrita has a really, really good cyber security club. And what is a cyber security club? It is called BIOS. It has one of the really, really well known CTF clubs where they go and win competitions in ethical hacking and capture the flag competitions. So in that way, Amrita is really, really well known for those kind of competitions. At number five, we have VIT Velour. VIT Velour, for some reason, NIR loves VIT Velour. But at the same time, if you notice in this list, there are four colleges which are already better than VIT Velour. The reason why I am not against VIT Velour, but at the same time, the intake of students in a college like VIT Velour or Amrita is very, very high. There are close to 1000 people inside VIT Velour in computer science department only. And in computer science, there are very lot of other branches, computer science and AI, computer science, this, there's a lot of variations inside computer science itself. And let's say you are a very, very good performer in computer science in VIT. Your placement is guaranteed. You will get into a really, really top company like Cisco or Microsoft. I know a lot of people who have done extremely well being in VIT, but at the same time, there are a lot of people who don't study that well who go and mess up the people who already are good students. So that sort of reduces the morale of the entire college. So in that way, I like how the admission process is restricted in colleges like PSG Tech or Tyagaraja, where you need to at least have a very, very good board exam score to get into top-notch colleges. Because you have to work really, really hard to get a really good score in board exams. And based on that, you're marks are getting done but at the same time there's a disadvantage as well in terms of board exams is that most people in Tamil Nadu they get their board exams in through the state board state board if you are in 11th and 12th most people don't pick CBSE and because of that and because of that the quality of students might be slightly lesser because the level of CBSE is significantly higher over a state board and most people, they just buy heart and try to get in through it. But at the same time, it does signify if you're able to get into a good Tamil Nadu college, it shows that you are at number four. We have SSN College of Engineering in Chennai. SSN College of Engineering was started by the billionaire Shiv Nadar. Shiv Nadar has built an, an amazing institution where people can learn and thrive in an amazing institution. And according to many people, SSN is at par with Anna University and other engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. And that is what brings out the best in SSN. SSN is sort of like the Bitspilani of Tamil Nadu. It is one of those amazing places where you can go and thrive and learn new things from new people. And in terms of placements, there were companies like D Shop, companies like Mathworks, companies, maybe not high level companies like Sprinkler or Optiver or hedge funds, those kind of companies, they don't come. But at the same time, a lot of really, really good product based companies do come. Companies like Citibank, companies like Visa, Morgan Stanley, they did come during the last year of placements. At number three, we have College of Engineering Gindi. College of Engineering Gindi is one of the really, really amazing colleges in the heart of Chennai. College of Engineering Gindi and in terms of placements, especially for the computer science department, you will see that almost 40% of the people who did get placed, they get a package of close to more than 10 to 15 LPA and there were close 20% of people do get a package of more than 20 LPA. But on average, you will definitely find that the average is more than 10 LPA for Anna University, especially for computer science graduates. 
At the same time, there are branches like mechanical or chemical or cement or food industry, food engineering, where those kind of people, they are not as much in demand as compared to computer science engineers. And in that cases, some companies like CTS and TCS do come and they bulk hire and mass hire these kind of students because engineers are very much in need. And just in case someone is not in computer science, they're not going to deny you the opportunity to work in the industry. At number two, we have Anidrichi. Anidrichi is one of the really amazing colleges that everyone must have heard of. You might be thinking, why is he saying amazing college, amazing college for everything? But in general, the top 10 colleges in Tamil Nadu are really, really amazing. At the same time, NIT Trichy has a recognition which is global, not even on a national level, on a global level. There are alumni like Rajesh, the former CEO of TCS was from NIT Trichy. At the same time, a lot of amazing people who work, at, work as engineers in top-notch companies they worked at, they studied NIT Trichy and because of it, they have a very, very great reputation. It is the best NIT in the country, which is why a lot of people aspire to come to NIT Trichy. Even though, even let's say there's someone in Delhi, they would still want to be in NIT Trichy because of the ranking that it has. At the same time, the kind of culture in terms of the departments and the clubs that it has, the departments and the clubs that it has. At number one, we have our very own IIT Madras. IIT Madras is the best institution out there in the entire country. There are other close competitors like IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi. But at the same time, in a national scale, having IIT Madras on your resume, I think IIT it is at par. Because know. every time I meet someone from IIT Madras, most of them are very down to earth and very humble people. At the same time, their intellectual level is significantly higher, higher over, over any other, any other top, IIT. top IITs because the way they are grounded, the culture of IIT Madras, the clubs in IIT Madras are significantly higher. Even the fests like Sarang or Shastra are amazing. At the same time, there are mind-blowing companies which come, companies like Optover. I have recorded a podcast with a computer science student at IIT Madras. You can go and check it out. It's The link is in the comments. I got a job at Optover, which is a company which pays you one crore package in India. And no, and he got a job in Netherlands and now he's going there. And yes, IIT Madras is the king of all from my side. That's <laughs> During my time at BITS and especially now that I'm working in Bangalore, I get a chance to interact with so many people who studied in these colleges in Tamil Nadu. This is why I got the idea, maybe, you know what, I should probably speak it out loud because Tamil Nadu colleges la where a level, where a level. If there's any Tamilian watching out there, you should be very proud of yourself because you know, Tamil Nadu engineers on the where a level. You know, on the throughout India, there are 28 states. Highest number of engineers come from Chennai, come from Tamil Nadu. Highest number of SaaS startups are in Chennai. So if you are a Tamilian, if you are someone who's aspiring to get into one of these colleges, do let me down in the comments below because I'm sure it will definitely increase the reach of this video. If you and at the same time, if you think that there is another college which deserves a recognition, do let me down in the comments below because there are some great colleges which I have missed out. Colleges like Triple D Kanchipuram which deserve a mention. And I was not very sure of the people, the placements because it is a triple IT, but I was not sure of how good it is because it is not a very well-known triple IT like triple IT Bangalore, triple IT Allahabad, the triple IT Hyderabad. So these are the very well-reputed colleges in Tamil Nadu. There are old institutions. They have a solid alumni network. Great companies come every year. So it makes sense to take a bet on these colleges. I hope you guys liked the video and if you did like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. A lot of amazing videos like these and a lot of amazing podcasts with amazing stalwarts from all across the world coming up. A lot of informative videos regarding colleges, a lot of blogs and stay tuned. And I'm Hari Haran and I just finished my engineering from Bits Plani. And now I'm a YouTuber and now I work as a software developer at a fintech firm as well. If you do, are in, if you're interested in any of those fields, do consider giving a like and do subscribe as well. We'll learn, let's explore together. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.